Welcome back to Marian Messenger, a dedicated channel to explore Marian apparitions, her titles, invocations, Marian art, her famous paintings, Marian sanctuaries, monasteries and basilicas all over the world. Today, August 22nd, as we celebrate the coronation of our mother, we would like to bring you three of the most famous paintings ever made on the coronation. 1. The Coronation of the Virgin, by Fra Angelico, between the years, 1434 and 1460. 2. The Coronation of the Virgin, by Annabelle Karachi, between the years, 1560 and 1610. 3. The Coronation of the Virgin, by Diego Velazquez, between the years, 1641 and 1644. Before we move on to each of these holy masterpieces, let us bring you the history of our mother's queenship. One of the many titles Virgin Mary assumes is, Queen of Heaven and Earth. When Pope Pius XII declared this, his words were, Blessed Virgin Mary should be called Queen, not only because of her divine motherhood, but also because God has willed her to have an exceptional role in the work of our eternal salvation. The Roman Catholic Church celebrates the feast every August 22, from 1969, while it was celebrated on August 31 until then. It is also the fifth glorious mystery of the Rosary. Famous artists from different periods have painted the coronation of Virgin Mary, based on the cultural and religious values of the century they belonged. They are all unique and spectacular, and possess a great history of Marian devotion over centuries. Now, our first painting, name, Coronation of the Virgin. Artist, Fra Angelico, period, 1434-1460, style, Gothic, medium, tempera on panel, location, Uffizi Gallery, Florence, Italy. Fra Angelico was a renowned Italian painter in the early Renaissance, been called blessed, in his lifetime itself, because of his heavenly artwork, he was beatified by Pope John Paul II in 1982. With its golden embellishments and use of halos, this painting is a perfect depiction of Gothic art. Here, Jesus is crowning Virgin Mary as the Queen of Heaven. Mary has her arms crossed on her chest, bending forward, and has a humble look on her face, while Jesus is decorating her golden crown with a jewel stone. Both Jesus and Mary are seated in a flood of golden rays, to portrait their divinity, they are surrounded by angels playing music and dancing, in order to assume that it's heaven the ceremony is taking place. The golden crown symbolizes the wealth and authority of the kingdom. In ancient times, it was common for the king's mother to be crowned queen. In those centuries, queen mothers and royal families are considered to be the most influential over the king, it was fair to call Mary a queen mother of Jesus. The lower half of the painting depicts a gathering of saints and blessed people. One can also get a glimpse of various musical instruments used in that century. This fabulous work of art is believed to have been used as an altarpiece at Church of Santa Gidio at Florence and arrived at Uffizi in 1825. Now, moving on to our next painting. Original title, Ellen Coronation or Della Virgin, artist, Annabelle Caracci, period, 
1560 to 1610. Style, Baroque, medium, oil on canvas. Annabelle Caracci was the most influential painter of the 16th century, inspired by the work of Michelangelo and Raphael. His frescoes remained as a great feeding grounds of Baroque imagination for centuries. Our painting here, is a Baroque art too, with the use of natural colors and brilliant spatial organization. Here, Mary is being crowned by son and father together, with the Holy Spirit hovering above the crown. The father is made to look like classical representation of Greek mythological gods. Both the Father and the Son are portrayed as heavenly as can be, with windy clothes and angelic features. Mother Mary looks the most graceful and humble with hands open wide, while the crown remains golden, ensuring the royalty. The half dome above the three main figures, is filled with saints and holy people, seated in an array of circular arrangement, that used to be the most common way, how heaven was depicted in paintings during that time. A choir of angels is seen to be singing hymns and playing music cheerfully. With all the right elements, this majestic picture, acted as a window onto heaven for centuries, and remains as one of the famous Marian masterpiece. Now, our third and final painting. Title, The Coronation of the Virgin, artist, Diego Velazquez, period, 1641-1644, style, European Baroque, medium, oil on canvas, location, Museo del Prado, Madrid, Spain. Diego Velazquez is the leading artist in the court of King Philip IV, and one of the most important painters of the Spanish Golden Age. Velazquez's coronation of the Virgin is exceptional, for the choice of colors, and for the air of naturalness and simplicity, not found in works by other Baroque religious painters. He chose blues and purples instead of the traditional reds. The placement of main characters is simply brilliant, based on an inverted triangle, giving a sense of great equilibrium, and the harmonious lines and colors make the form, of a heart. This only gets insisted by the main actor Virgin Mary, pointing to her own heart. Virgin Mary, with a modest, reverential, and emotional expression, lowered eyes, looks divine and elegant, because elegance is the commonly used theme in European Marian art in the 17th century, the crown is floral here, instead of golden. The father and the son, together they hold Mary's crown above her head, in the center, the Holy Spirit is represented in the form of a white dove, the two figures heads and the dove are all level, on the line of the triangle's base, representing their equality within the Holy Trinity. A bunch of cherubs seem to be holding up the bed of clouds for the Queen. With clever illustration and unmatched elegance, this work of art is clearly a winner of the 17th century. From these three Marian masterpieces from three different centuries, which one is your favorite, and what do you like about it, please do tell us in the comment section. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.